welcome back to my channel and if you are new here a big welcome to you also thank you all for following thank you for the support so look at that bami that is what we're making today actually frying it not making it all right so i'm gonna pair it up with some brown stew fish so stay tuned after my intro All right, let's get things started. So here's my cassava cake, AKA Bami, I will call it a Jamaica. All right, you can actually get this on Amazon. It's on my Amazon storefront. Just, I will drop the description, um, the link in my description box. So it's like, it's hard. Like you can't eat it like this. So what you have to do with the Bami, I usually cut it up first um, so I can get it in a container. Sometimes, you know, usually I'm cooking a lot more. I'm just showing you because not everybody in my household likes um, Bami. So just showing you with the one. Um, but yeah, so I cut it in fours, use my big knife, cut it in fours. See? I'm gonna soak it overnight in some coconut milk. This will just give you the best results, but you cannot just eat it just like this. You know, you have to soak it up cause yeah. Um, like I said, this is made from cassava. You can actually buy the flour, the cassava flour, and some people make their own by me, or you can buy the cassava and make your own by me. All right, so in Jamaica, we usually pair this up with some fish, bami and fish, but yeah, see, I'm just pouring my coconut milk over it. I'm just gonna drop a little salt. Um, you can fry it like it is. Some people steam it, like if you're making, um, you know, steamed fish, you can put it in there, brown stew fish, you know, steamed bami, but I like it like a fry steam. I, I'll, I usually fry it first, and if I want it steam, I can do that. So I add a little salt. Now I am going to cover it up and just let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So here it is the next day. I am going to fry it for the best results is how I like it. Um, it doesn't even take less than 10 minutes. Like, you know, just medium heat till it's golden brown. Flip the side, probably about four to five minutes on each side. And yeah, that's basically it. And like I said, even after you fry it, you can just drop it in your gravy. But it's just a one, two, three, quick, easy meal. But like I said, preparation is the key. All right. So um, I was telling you, I, I fried um, fish when I was frying the bami. That video is right before this video. It's actually a brown stew um, um, lane snapper video. Yeah, so it paired well with the bami, like, you know kids was licking their fingers like it's so good so yeah go make sure you watch that video so you can you know make your brown stew fish or if you don't want brown stew fish i have steam fish recipes on here i also have escovish fish recipes on here so yeah just scroll through my channel and just you know um go and eat with your eyes or just go ahead and follow the recipes and just make your own all right so i gave you a wider view so you can see um yeah i'm frying my fish season up my oil so it could be you know get the flavor the scotch bonnet the scallion sometimes i'll drop thyme in there um a piece of garlic etc see check this out look how large this skillet is i actually have um some skillets this size on my amazon storefront so make sure you go on there it's um this one is not on Amazon, but I do have a Bayou Classic, um, 16 inches in diameter. It's less than $50, so you will love it. Can Most of the time when I measure the, the, the fish, they're like some of them are like anywhere from 12 to 14 inches. So see how nice and comfortable they fit. And yeah, fish look nice when they sit in the, in the pot like that. All right, so let me turn my bami, check in on it just to see if it's ready. It's, you know, like I said, four to five minutes and it's good. And um, while we're here flipping and, you know, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can, you know, get alert and uh, that with the notification bell and get good videos like these. Keep watching, continue to watch. I have so much more in store. I'm just going to be spitting them out at least once or twice a week as much as possible is what I'm, you know, that's what I'll be doing um but yeah go ahead and um go over to my amazon like i said you can get the bami on amazon you can get all my kitchen tools on amazon and i'll definitely make sure everything is in the description box for you okay All right, see how nice and golden brown this is? Yeah, that's how I like it. Not too dark, 
you know just give it a little color it's it's just the right texture i'm gonna open one and show you too so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and remove them from the oil and make sure when you remove them just put them on a, a paper towel so it can absorb some of that oil um yeah so that's basically it um you don't have to add any more salt when you're frying because we did add the salt overnight so they're gonna be nice and flavorful you can just eat them as is you don't even <laughs> have to pair them up with anything else so they were just the coconut milk definitely does it some um some justice all right see how nice they are look how nice they are so delicious all right so make sure you um check out all my other recipes and um here's a brown soup fish and it was so good like i said go ahead and try that recipe thank you again for watching have a blessed day and i'll see you on the next video bye bye